Vice President-elect Shelby Kim is in Europe after making a personal trip to the U.S. last week. Earlier this week, Shell met with politicians in the Czech Republic and spoke at a forum held by a Prague-based think tank. Taiwan's foreign ministry has not disclosed where Shell will go next, but it's confirmed that she'll return to Taiwan after her European visit. China's Taiwan Affairs Office has protested Shell's travels, calling them harmful to the interests of Taiwan's people. On social media, Czech Senate Speaker Milos Vistrichil posted a photo with Vice President-elect Xiaobi Kim. After visiting the U.S., Xiao headed to Europe to speak at a seminar organized by Synopsis, a Prague-based think tank. Xiao's trip to the U.S. was purely for personal matters. She is the vice president-elect, so we did have some communication with the U.S. The foreign ministry did not give details on Xiao's itinerary after the Czech Republic. Although Xiao has kept her travels low-key, China's Taiwan Affairs Office has expressed opposition, accusing her of harming the interests of the people of Taiwan. China has always protested whatever we do. If I visit Europe, if our European friends visit Taiwan, or if Vice President-elect Xiao visits Europe, China will raise objections. Some friends in the U.S. have told me that if China gets angry, it must mean that we are doing the right thing. Before assuming office, Vice President-elect Xiao has a degree of freedom. If friends invite her for a visit, we make the necessary arrangements. China has not only been ineffective at deterring visits, but has also become the target of complaints. 27 members of the European Parliament have sent a joint letter to the International Civil Aviation Organization, protesting China's unilateral adjustments to the M503 flight path in the Taiwan Strait. The letter urges the ICAO to monitor regional developments and ensure compliance with regulations. We also explained to them that China's unilateral changes to the status quo would escalate regional tensions. Such actions are not conducive to regional peace and stability. According to ICAO rules, any changes to flight paths must be negotiated beforehand. China's change of the M503 flight route has been seen as a reaction to the results of Taiwan's presidential election.